He was driving past the church when he saw the shooting. And Johnny, can you tell me what happened next? Um, no, I, I pulled up to I pulled up to the intersection where the shooting happened, and I saw two men exchanging gunfire. The other being a citizen of the community, and um, the shooter of the church had taken off, fled in his vehicle, and the other gentleman came and he said we needed to pursue him. That he just shot up the church, and so that's what I did. I just acted and got him off the road. And okay. All right, Johnny, it sounds like we may be having a little bit of a technical difficulty. I'm going to try to switch mics here. All right, Johnny, could, so could you tell me again, you said that you heard the, uh, you saw the, you saw the two men exchanging gunfire, and then one of the men, someone you recognized, jumped in the car? Uh, no, I didn't know him at all. I didn't recognize him. I just, he just was a member of the community. And whenever he came in my vehicle in distress and with his weapon, um, he, just, he explained very quickly what happened, and he got in the truck, and I knew that it was just time to... It was time to go. Yes, sir. All right, so tell me about that. Hey, tell me about following this guy. Was it high speed? Was he driving normally all over no, the place? What was the line? No, no, sir. He got a little bit of a jump on us, and so we were doing about 95 down 539, going around traffic and everything. And, um, eventually, he came to kind of a slowdown, and after that, uh, we got within just a few feet of him, and then he got off the road. How did that happen? Did you guys bump him, or did he lose control no, by himself? He, he just lost control, and then that's whenever I put the vehicle in park, because I was still on the phone with dispatch, and mm -hmm. the other gentleman jumped out and had his rifle drawn on him, and, and he didn't move after that. Okay, so I understand you guys called police as you were chasing him. Yes. Now, did you lead them to that point? Did they meet you there, or yeah, we we led them to there? He was headed northbound on 539, and uh, everybody else was headed to the church. All the officers were responding to the church. So, how long before police arrived at that scene? Uh, from the time we actually stopped, it was about it was about five minutes, five to seven minutes. And so the neighbor just kept his gun trained on him yes. that long. Yes, sir. 